This is Elias walking you through the examination of the lacrimal system. So basically, if a patient's coming to you with a complaint of uh, uh, watering from the eyes, you need to see whether the lacrimal uh, system is working or not. So if you see how the lacrimal system works, you have the lacrimal gland, and then you have the punctum, and then you have the canaliculi, which connect together, forming a common canaliculi. And then this goes all the way, opens up in the nose. So if there is a problem of the closure of the lacrimal punctum, it is going to cause watering. If this is not approximated to the conjunctiva, it is going to cause watering if it is blocked at any point that will also cause watering so we need to first see whether this system is intact or not and then we need to determine where the blockage is and regurgitation testing that is when the blockage is distal to the lacrimal sac then if you press the lacrimal sac there's going to be some regurgitation of fluid out of the pump tank so when we are doing the, the examination, the first thing that we have to do is we have to see whether the lid margin is completely approximated to the conjunctiva. And after seeing that, we're going to ask the patient to close his eyes forcefully and then open them up and see whether there's any rolling of the lid margin or not. If it's not, that means that is working perfectly fine. Then we're going to slightly pull this up to see the lacrimal punctum. And that is the area that you see here. And that's the lacrimal punctum. After doing this, you also want to see whether there is any blockage of the lacrimal uh, sac. And for that, what you need to do is you need to do this compression test. So you compress the lacrimal sac. For, to do that, we first need to stabilize our hand so that when we're doing this test, we are not poking in the eye of the patient. So I put my hand on Infan's forehead and then I'm going to ask him to look all the way up. He's looking up. I'm going to find the orbital margin and then slowly take my finger all the way to the gap that I feel here. And then I'm going to push it in and up. So this is the movement that I'm doing. And as you can see, there is no regurgitation that's happening here, which would mean that there is no distal obstruction. Thank you.